10 Tampa Bay meteorologist Natalie Ferrari joins us right now. We're keeping an eye on the weather. There's some rain out there. Right yeah, now. we got rain and storms firing up out there. Some of them are even getting kind of rowdy for that commute home. So I know the timing's not ideal. Then we're also watching the tropics. So I want to at least get you the information, the latest information that we do know on this very broad, disorganized area we're tracking. It's about 500 miles east of the Lesser Antilles, and we have not had a great deal of convection along with it. So it's very disorganized activity. It doesn't even have a closed low, so it is officially not even tropical yet, but it has a lot of moisture that it's trying to at least gather up while it battles a decent amount of Saharan dust. Tropical systems don't like that dry air. So that is what's really keeping that potential on the lower end over the next couple of days for development. However, as it tracks its way and scoots away from that Saharan dust and makes its way closer and closer to the northern Leeward Islands, the Turks and Caicos, even towards the Bahamas, this is the area of concern that would have a slightly better potential for it to develop, to be more conducive of tropical activity and that could happen later in the weekend, maybe even early next week. So let me walk you through one of our models, our European model continuing to bring this cluster of activity through the, portion, the northern portions of the northern Leeward Islands, as well as back to the Greater Antilles and through the Bahamas. However, the European still wants to do this nice little harsh turn to the right, which again keeps it east of Florida, and that would be a decent case scenario for us because it keeps us drier on Saturday. We could still get some showers in the eastern portions of the state by Sunday, but it does skew it back out towards the east coast and away from us. However, the GFS, it does have quite a bit of agreement through the weekend as far as that track, but then wants to keep it still very disorganized, a lot of tropical moisture, but try to meander it more so into the Gulf, and if that happens, it then could actually have a little bit of potential development by early next week as it eventually tries to interact with land. So there's still some late forecasting disagreement with there. That is why it's still uncertain not only if it will be able to turn into anything, but what kind of rain chances are we talking about here locally? So you'll want to stay tuned going into the weekend ahead. 